hey, this is Ronnie Terry of getting ready for the start of the season. Warriors Weekly starts now, like right now. All right. Welcome to Warriors Weekly, presented by eSurance. On this week's show, we go behind the scenes on a recent road trip to LA for our preseason game with the Lakers. And Tim Roy catches up with Monte Ellis. Now here's Warriors Rewind, presented by Sharp. Hey, it's Bob Fitzgerald alongside my TV partner, Jim Barnett. And let's look at the Warrior roster and maybe the style that they'll play a little bit this year and break it down how the coaches do between the guards, the wings, and the bigs. So let's start with guards. You know, if you look at the Warriors with guys like Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry, C.J. Watson, A.C. Law, there's a lot of guys there, a lot of small, quick guys. Yes. And how do they play together? Well, they're a little undersized. Uh, they know that. And there's always a concern at the defensive end. But you have to remember, they have to be defended at their end. There you go. You've got quickness in the backcourt. You've got quickness with Monte Ellis. We know that's great scoring ability. Stephen Curry is going to be a really good player in this league, and he's going to play a lot of minutes as a rookie. Um, AC Law has played well in the preseason, and uh, it might be a little surprise there. You know, we look at C.J. Watson. We saw him sure. emerge last year, got tougher, got better, can shoot outside. So there's a, there's a lot of scoring in the backcourt as well as all around the team. It's a very deep team again this year, and they're going to fight for minutes. And also, too, if you're the point guard, just pass to Anthony Morrow. He'll make the shot. you get the assist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Morrow is, is so good to play with those quicker guys because they're going to penetrate, draw the defenders, and he's just going to float, go to the open spot, going to get a lot of shots that way. Particularly, this team is going to be a running team. They're always going to be a running team. And then you have those players trail down the play. You throw it back to somebody wide open, steps into the shot. Anthony Morrow is perfect for that role. You look at the wings on this team, and it's probably where the leadership, or at least the veterans on this team, Steven Jackson, Kalen Azubuki, Corey Maggette, the twos, the threes, I just know all three of those guys can play. Yeah, and they're all different, too. I mean, uh, Azubuki is just the solid guy, not going to uh, wham you with a lot of Pazam stuff. He just does all the necessary things. Good fundamental player. Steven Jackson, you know what he can do, hit big shots for you, hit threes, take the ball, loves to run also. Then you get the slasher, Maggette, because this team, when it runs, you throw the ball to him anywhere near half court, he's going to go to the basket, he's going to get to the free throw line, or he's going to score the basket, or both. Uh, it's a nice combination with the wing guys. And, and like you say, Maggette will be 30 this year, Steven Jackson, age 31, then you bring in Kalena. Experience with those players. And uh, they're going to be the leaders of the club. If you look at the Warriors' bigs, maybe we call them the longs, okay? Because Beadrench at seven feet tall with Anthony Randolph, Mikey Moore, and Roni Turioff. The Brandon Wright injury certainly hurts this team, so Maggette may slide up to the big spot. But Turioff, Beadrench, that's a great center combo. Randolph and a veteran like Mikey Moore. The longs for the Warriors, not bad. Not at all. And, and you don't lose much when you bring somebody else in. You know, you, you take Andres off the floor, great shot blocker. You bring in Turioff, he's a terrific shot blocker. Anthony Randolph, a great shot blocker as well. Defense and rebounding were a huge issue for the Warriors a year ago. They finally have at least a full roster. They had so many injuries last year. They've emphasized defense, but can they better be a better defensive team and can they be a better rebounding team? Well, they're going to be a better defensive team because the coaches are insisting on that and they've really uh, put that into their mind and their mindset. Now, as far as rebounding, They've all got to do that collectively again. Now, sometimes they can stay big. With the Brandon Wright injury, Don Nelson can't stay big at the power forward right. spot all the time. You're going to have Corey Maggette in there. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be the same rebounder as the bigger guys. So they'll have a smaller unit like that, different nights, different matchups. So you get a little blend that way. With the rest of those guys, there's no reason why they should be out rebounding when you have Mikey Moore, Andres Peters, and Roni Terrioff in there together, and Randolph you throw in there too. Well, the Warriors are going to rip and run. They have a lot of firepower. They're going to outscore some teams. They're usually pretty entertaining, too. Very entertaining. That's what, you know, you talk about people with people all over the United States. They say, we love to watch your club. They're fun. I say, well, yeah, that's right. Well, we have fun. We're going to be bringing you all those games, 80 of them, and Warriors Weekly, all week long, all season long. Coming up next on Warriors Weekly, we go in the paint with Monte Ellis and take a trip behind the scenes on a recent road trip to the fabulous Forum in L.A. Warriors Weekly is presented to you by eSurance. Save hundreds on your car insurance with great California discounts from eSurance. Discover your discounts at eSurance.com.